Where are we, Claire? Today, Andrew, we're at home. Oh, why? Mm. We were booked to go to the seaside and the gentleman uh, at the campsite contacted us and said that the rain was so bad and flooding. Don't come. Today, we've decided that we're going to take some of the money that we normally spend on campsite fees and going out and doing activities and we're going to put that into the motorhome. Yeah. So we are going to limit ourselves to £100. Mm -hmm. I'm all, I don't know if we can do that or not. Let's see. What are we going to do in the motorhome? But... Two hundred pound, two nights camping, some diesel, it's very easily a hundred pound. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Last night we spent it at home instead of being in the motorhome, so we took our time to look at colour palettes, and I found a colour palette that I really like, and I've taken that from the BMW 1250 GS motorbike. I was thinking about pastel colours. The first thing that we're going to do is to sort our little doggies out. And in Barnsley, there's a really, really lovely doggy cafe. Ooh. And the dogs can go and have some doggy sausage. And there's a nice walk at the side of it. So we're going to take you with us. And then we're going to drop them off back at home. And we're going to go and get our supplies. Right, so we're in Wheels and Walkers Cafe. I'm downgrading me, me hot drink. Not having latte. What are you having? Should have an Americano. How come? Because I think I'm, I'm drinking my way in uh, milk. That's a lot of milk before you say it. thank you. We do Spam and cheese toast. Spam and cheese toast? Yeah. Oof, salty. Anyway, it looks nice in here. We love it in here, don't we? Yeah, we do. Really friendly. Good for dogs. I'd like something different. Today. Like that. I'm going to have a large bacon sandwich. Yeah. And a side of hash browns. A mushroom sandwich, please. Yeah. Do you want any butcher sauce? <laughs> what do you want? Do you want some dog biscuits? Let's have a look, see if you like it. Yeah, always hungry. What about Mr. White? Here we go. No, that's... You see there? Yeah. That's a local legend right there, Percy Turner, pork pies. Percy's not with us anymore, but... Percy Turner, pork pies. So if you're from Barnsley, yeah. you know about Percy Turner's pork pies. Some old pictures of Barnsley there. Look at that. You win them. The food has arrived. Get down. Get down. Dora's got no manners. But anyway, I've got mine, which is just, it's a work of art really, isn't it? Look at that. Bacon, sausage, mushroom, and ketchup. And you've got... Crispy bacon and brown sauce. And then the dogs have got scrambled egg. And sausage. And sausage. Actually, I mean, it all looks good. I don't know whether I might just have this first. Yeah. <laughs> no, Dara. So now we're at a place called Woodsboro Mill, which is in Barnsley. You can see that the, the doggy cafe is just there. They're also cyclist friendly, which is nice. We are in Woodsboro Mill, which is a water mill, and it's actually still a running yeah. mill. We were in it, didn't we? Before. We did go in it before. There's a guy that actually owns it. I think he's just got a grant to, you know, to do it. Yeah. Again, but and it's, you can actually buy the the flour from you. Can you? <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, Dora. Oh, Dora. So the weather's kind of stopped everything. I've had to not ride my motorbike. Um, it's just been too icy for that so I've been using the trains I haven't used the trains for quite a while I used when we first got the motor home I did use the trains to go to work it's been a while uh, I thought that maybe the trains have improved uh, they've got absolutely worse <laughs> terrible I got more cancellations than ever for a six minute journey uh, I was uh, having to set off an hour and a half before to make sure I could catch at least one of the trains so I'm hoping that we don't get too much of this freezing weather and we can't rely on the trains at the moment such a shame they wanted to use them but there's just no service either through to staff being unavailable there e even one you know the clear day mm -hmm. where it were all frosted over sky were totally clear it said this train has been cancelled it was at the last minute and the reason for it was for wet weather anyway it got to friday thought i'm not doing this anymore i'm gonna go on the bike i said claire i'm going on bike and she said are you sure i says yeah so I got all geared up, takes about 15 minutes. I got to the top of our drive, I slid all the way down, uh, and then I had to do a walk of shame all the way back and get changed again, and then I went for my train, which were late again. Anyway, here we are, Wasbury Mill. Now, if you're from Barnsley, you've probably been here on a school trip, especially if you were of my generation. 
yeah, if you come down here, there's Watermill, Mill Story, there's a tea room and a mill shop. Stone baked pizzas here. I'd imagine that's from the Ooh, flour yeah. of which they, they make. It's a little bit of a shame uh, because there's a, there is a, a water mill in there. So as we, we do in most places, we just asked if we could film, but they said that we have to email the council before they can so let us... So that'd be about three months. <laughs> ...do that, so... Um, oh, don't bother. So I can't show you that. No, now, shame. We can't actually blame the staff there because they're only working there. So if they don't know, we don't want to get them in trouble, but it's such a shame. But we always like to ask. I didn't know it were actually council owned this. I thought it were privately owned. Well, we're having one of those weekends, aren't we? So we the, are. the plan was to walk up there and then th this is actually a, a, a reservoir. We're going to show you that. But <laughs> apparently it's flooded up there, so you can't cross over. So uh, let's see if we can cross this bridge and have a brief look at it. All right, so this is the bridge across. So if you just want to go first, Claire, and no, then I can really. see. <laughs> so the dogs have had a lovely walk. Are you happy? You've had your nice breakfast. We need to get on with our Video. redesign. I'll tell you what, it's busy around here, isn't it? We've just discovered we've got some stained vial. <laughs> What's that? I have no idea. I think I know where it is. What? Looks like a bit of rust off the pole. <laughs> Nothing worse. It's only November. Right. Anyway, what's this? I like the look at that. No look at dogs. That's that then, moving on. Oh, I like that. It's all these wallpapers. I don't think you can wallpaper a motor home. Do you? No. It'd be good though, to cover where the kitchen is. Yeah. If there's some other alternative. Can you wallpaper? Oh yeah, I can. I'll tell you what else I can do. What? Moonwalk. Hey, look at this. What is it? Vinyl? Vinyl wrap. Well, there's some very thin vinyl wrap here. Is that <laughs> adhesive? I don't know. Well, there's some splashback tiles here. Would they work? Oh, self-adhesive. Oh. And splashbacks. Actually, they're quite nice, these. You only get four tiles, they're 18 quid, Claire. Let's not get silly. Look at these, these are quite nice. What? Adhesive. Do you think that'd work? No idea. Whack that bad boy on. It's your job anyway. Well, look, it's named after that song of Brian Ferry's. Fabalon. <laughs> oh no, Avalon. Fabalon. What's the pattern, doesn't it? What, you like that? Is that what this is? Yeah, that's what that is. What do you think? Oh, it's a bit bold. But Brian, I don't know. We're getting older, we like steady, do don't we? We like steady. Pick, pick and stick, peel and stick. What's peel and stick? Ooh. That's better. Oh, we could have like a bushy thing. I don't put that in. Look. Ooh, look at that. I quite like that, do you? A bit bold, that though, Claire. Oh, that's it. Are we brave enough? Uh, no, not really, but should we just try it? Oh, I don't know. I feel a bit... I'm a bit scared of it, are you? That's a nice one. It's got like a blue back. Is it too busy? I don't want to edit when it's I'm like sat in the jungle. Whoa. Look at that blue. Yeah. Very bold. Yeah. Well, what do you think then? We're picking and sticking? Peeling and sticking? This requires glue. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Yeah. We're not gluing. Fabulous. Need some form of... Lace. Lace. What are these here? What a modern one. Slot top. Like. What's a slot top? No. So we're having a bit of a problem because we can't find curtains that length and it's made to measure 137 drop, but we need like 37 drop. Very short, aren't they? Yeah, we'll have to buy some fabric and cut it down. I don't know if we're going to get anything better than that. It's that tiger thing I'm not bothered about. We mean just wash these and put them back on. And then... We, get we, some might have to, we might have to make a zone. That lady can cut us a bit of what blue. She can't. I think what you got to do is have it sent off. Should we go and ask? Well, we're the, never going to get curtains, little curtains, are we? In Dunelm, they have these little baskets and that's three pounds, which will match our little colour scheme that we've got. And uh, are you going to try and turn that into four individual curtains? No, are you? What, you're not? I'm not going to do that. We cut it and then we've got a sewing machine. You said you were good at sewing. 
Not curtains, I can sew your socks. Do we need some blue thread? Miracle. We need some blue miracle, yeah. A blue miracle. We need look, some blue you thread. Just do that, look. That's what I'm saying. Do you think you could do that? No, I can't do it at all. Would you? <laughs> we have got a sewing machine. We'll, we'll I know, yeah. We've... Keep watching, find out We've what happens. We've also got a lottery, national lottery app, but it's not working. <laughs> I think I've got a perfect thread. I'll buy you that, Claire. So we need some blue throws. Right, 26 yeah. pounds, three pounds. How much is thread? Two pounds. Well, why don't we get the throws and the cushions from b and It's cheaper. One thing we need before we leave, mm. smoother tool. You got enough tools, Andrew? Well, I ain't got a smoother tool. <laughs> what are you smoothing with that? 33 pounds. Yep. We've got some backdrop for the kitchen. Yep. And we've got some curtains that you're going to create four new curtains from. You look quite stressed about that, Claire. It well, it ain't happening, is it? But yeah, and then some thread and a scraper. It's not a scraper. It's a smoothing tool. You're getting distracted, aren't you? Let's look at dog stuff. Why? We've come for the motor on. <laughs> Soft furnishings. Well, we could do some smelly things for house, actually. So this is where you wanted to come. A waffle throw. Claire's just dropping the white throw on the floor. I like that, but it didn't go with the colour scheme. No. That you've chosen. Right, let's go for the one behind then that's not been on the floor. What do you think? Yeah. That puts us at fi 53 pounds. Okay. It's quite quite hard to vlog in here when you're carrying stuff. I don't think we're vlogging on it. What's a Claire's favourite area? I've got some nice baskets. For where? Like, just generally. It's right, plants. This is really important, everybody. I've been wanting plants for a very long time. £25? Mm, there's, there's not many plants here, actually, that we want. Yeah, there's no plants here for us. Is that it, then? Yeah. Picked a bad day to come down the seasonal aisle. The good news is that we've got our throws, we've got some bedding, we've also got some lights, some little twinkly lights, with it being coming up to Christmas, to create a nice ambiance, and some suckers as well. Claire came up with the idea that we could use suckers on there. However, uh, that's the good news. Uh, the bad news is that that was £66.50, which means that I think we are, uh, we've we just blown the budget. So what are we on now then? Well, we spent £100, but we did want some oh. plants and we want some oh, cushions. Yes. Oh, However, yes. when we said £100, we only said for petrol, for the diesel and also for the campsite. But we do we do eat out, so shall we throw that into the budget? Yeah, we ate up this morning, didn't we? Deduct the suckers. Well, we, we can't deduct the suckers. Suckers have to stay. <laughs> Let's have a look. So that means... That means that we need to... We can't buy plants, which is what you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> However... It worked up well for you. If we take Rachel Reeves' view, and just move a few things round, yeah. Then just make up some new rules. Just make up. We're, we're going we're gonna to introduce some new fiscal rules, everybody. <laughs> I really don't want to go to IKEA. It's just not worth it. Okay. Even I've got less desire to do okay. that, and I don't want to go to the range either. Okay. Let's go back in Donnell and uh, see if we can change these fiscal rules because we're facing about a sixty-pound black hole. These are much better. Look at these. Yeah. Oh, catch your eye. The prettier. Oh, look at this. How much is that? Um, £12. Well, that's just... Should we get that? Well, Can you stick that down? That's quite nice, really. Oops, I never broke that shelf. I mean, you can make your own if you're into arranging. I'm not. You're very excited around this. You're moving Those around. Dangly things, look. What's that? The dangly thing that I've already got. I don't like that that you've bought. No, yeah. What's no, wrong with it? I, I, I think I'm just going to have to come out with it. I don't like it. I think it looks cheap. <laughs> it was. It was cheap. That's why. Well. If you want a different dangly thing. Mm -hmm. Do you like that dangly thing? No. no? I'll have to no. feel what I've got. Put that around my neck. We need a, a new fragrance. We do. What kind of a ambience do you want in there this season? Uh, nice one. What about? We'll just get something that we can some plug potpourri. in. But oh, it'll fly all over, won't it? Lovely, Andrew. We're all not the... quite at the proper East stage. You really bought some lace today, so I think... You we... did. I think we've had enough for that. What was this here? Seagrass. I think we've done with plants now, haven't we? 
made it to the cushion section. And the burnt, what is it? This burnt is called honey. honey. Yeah. Below honey. We need four. Gosh, oh, there's seven pound. Right. One. Ooh, little girl syndrome. There'll be four. There's only three. Oh. No. That's all right. We'll have three. We'll have three and then a feature one. Shall we get a feature one? Yes, yeah, we get that one. It's too pink. <laughs> About that one, fifteen pound. That's you quite like that. I do. I don't know why. You you obviously don't, do you? Quite clearly don't. It's like a Japanese one, but we live in Barnsley. Yeah, but we travel everywhere. Not to, not to Japan. We want an alternate colour, like a really they're nice. Yeah, a bit of texture. Yeah. Should we get them? Yeah, let's get some of them. They're fourteen pound. We're well over budget now, you know. We're about 50% over. I don't even think we can stretch these fiscal rules anymore. We had a budget of £100. Yes. Um, just had a quick tot up. We're just slightly over budget. Okay, what have we spent? Uh, £171. Mm. A little bit more. But we could el eliminate the suckers. Why? And the lights, because that's a Christmas thing. We did buy a mat for the house in that. Oh, we bought a mat for the house, which we don't. So that was £6. We're still well over budget. Okay, about so, 50 quid. Anyway, if you want in budget tips, Probably best not asking us. <laughs> We've got some curtains that you're going to make, so that's free oh, labour. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Yeah, okay. So, it's, bit, it's things are more expensive than when I last went shopping. I don't do shopping. I know. I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah. Anyway. So we are back in the motorhome. Uh, this is the wall that we want to put this stuff on because although it's nice and airy in here and bright, it's a bit magnolia. So we just want something different. Now this, it's self-adhesive, so hopefully it's going to peel off. We've also got some blue plinth lights, courtesy of Marquis. So yeah, these are the ones that took 10 months to arrive. But we did get there in the end. So this is a blue job? Yeah. Now I've got something flashing. Is it the water that's been dumped out in the, in the cold? Oh, it says we need water, I think. I bet it's been dumped out in the ice, icy weather. Yeah. We should have really thought about that. Anyway, thought about that before. So, okay. so the first job for me is I'm going to degrease things. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, bother for that bit. Bang and the dirt is gone. Barry's going to help me out. Well, you won't bother doing this if it if you don't, then it won't stick. So I want to give it a good degreasing. And what I like to use is the kitchen roll because you don't know what's left on whatever it is that you're doing. Now, I do like to wear gloves in situations like this, but Claire always laughs at me and uh, she thinks it wouldn't be a good idea for me to be seen with my latex gloves <laughs> on the channel. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to pay particular attention to the corners. It might look, it might look terrible, this. I don't know. Steady on. So I think we've got enough. So that's going to go like that. What do you think? Yeah, just do it. Now these type of jobs for me, I always get really excited for the start of it, and I end up getting really frustrated by it. So we'll see which way this goes. So this is calm, Andrew, and we've got a Zen light state about us. Uh, see how long this lasts. I think my degrease has evaporated. <laughs> well, what are you sticking on with? Is just like a... Oh yeah, you do that, don't you? It's self-adhesive. This could be done in about three minutes. Yeah, if you know what you're doing. All right. Let's not get excited. Let's not get, <laughs> let's not get excited. <laughs> the hardest things about this, if you've never done it before, is um, finding an edge. Ooh. I've got an edge. Right, now you, trim an edge. you can okay. get bubbles and stuff. We don't get any bubbles. Try not to get any creases. Oh, gosh, just... You don't take all the sticker enough at the moment, are you? Just the top no, that's right, yeah. Claire, that's right. Yeah, yeah thanks. Just, for just thanks for the, what you... You'll, you'll find when we do jobs like this that Claire says things, but what she's actually giving instruction, not asking questions. Aren't you? Yeah. Oh. 
How's it going? Uh, it's quite quite difficult because it's in the corner. I think what I might have to do is pray. <laughs> that looks lovely. It's not straight. I think once I'm past this first bit, it'll be all right. I mean. As you know, I'm not a professional rapper, I'm more of a <laughs> rock and roll kind of guy. But, uh... Oh, look at the state of the bubbles in... <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job, I'm very relaxed. <laughs> yeah. how, how's your, how are you feeling? Not only are you relaxed, but you're also very helpful, aren't you, Claire? Yeah, I'll make you a nice sandwich in a minute. Oh, yeah, it makes it all the worthwhile. <laughs> right, OK. How are you getting on? Right, let's have an well, update. An update? I've only just started. Going wrong. People can stop uh, messaging us for tips on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a tip. Don't message. <laughs> well, it's, I know what problem is. Excuse me, please. That's a bit extreme close up. Uh, oh, you've not got your scraper that you that you paid. No, I think that's uh, money for. <laughs> it was two pound, Claire. It was two pound. Uh, we've got it's running away, running away from wall. Um, are you happy so far with that? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Neither are you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go back to the beginning. Are you doing it again? What? But I love you. Love you too. If you've got any pro vinyl wrappers, <laughs> can you message me up in comments? <laughs> Where do you live? We'll pay for you to come here now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Claire, was I in your way there? I'm glad I got my uh, smoothing tool. Is it helping? Oh, it is. How long are you going to be? It's Christmas soon. <sighs> I don't know, Claire. Have you worn out your smoothing tool yet? So <laughs> 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 go and get another one. <laughs> mm. Yeah. When you look online where they wrap cars and stuff like that, it's from right skill in it. Skill that I don't have. I've got a roller, Claire. And I got this. This was from when I did, you know, I have been known to do quality uh, RV installation and stuff before. This is where I did the first St. Chris. Is it straight? Watch that. Little tip if you're doing this. Not that I'm an expert, but you get like little little air bubbles mm -hmm. that are quite hard to get out. If you use a little pin, then you can just put a little prick in where the bubble is, and then that will allow you to smooth it out then. Smooth top, operator. Top tip. Measuring by eye glance. Just do it by eye. Probably should have measured it. Measure you. We don't want to do it there. Do we not? No. No, yeah, we don't. We don't want to do it there, guys. I always find that Bet with a serrated edge. It's very technical because I've got to line this up. This bit, I'm not looking forward to this. So, things like this are really infuriating. Have you done it? Mm -hmm. You absolute legend. Everybody needs a Claire in their life. All we need is a bit of patience. I can't even get the edge on. So we are working on the throw. Now I'm hoping that these don't keep falling down because that would just be they, they annoying. Will. They will. Throws fall down all the time. They throw down in the house, don't they? Has anybody got any tips to stop the throws from falling down? Dogs will love that. Yeah. It needs to be all nice and flat though, doesn't oh, it? No, I'm trying. Bear with. Now we've just reserved, uh, reverse rolls, haven't we? Yeah. I'm breathing down your neck now. It's not nice, is it, Claire? Don't breathe down your neck. Be like a bit of oomph anyway, a bit of oof, oof, like this. I like straight lines on it. Well, that ain't happening, so 
Get used to that. Oh dear. That didn't ever stay up. We could actually get some Velcro for this. It's that bottom corner that's concerning me. Which corner? Oh, oh yeah. Not there. Uh, no, no, that looks... That's not good. No, no. Oh, is that it? You're joking. No. Come on, get up. What's wrong with get it? Up. All making nice and tight and nice. And this, I've done. You haven't. Not wrong with that. There is. There's plenty. Listen, OCD gets you nowhere. Does it? Yeah. Hey, OCD gets you nowhere. Yes, That's my does. tip of the day for you. It's not even OCD. It is. Putting things in its place. That's what I call it. Oof. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. What are you doing now, Andrew? Well, I'm just putting these up. I don't know. I, I tend to not like this type of stuff. Yeah, I don't yeah. like wires. You know, you say, again, it's my OCD, but I'm not sure how much of it we'll see. Well, I love twinkly lights. We've never been allowed them. Allowed <laughs> them? There's only one person that gets denied things by the Progress Prevention Officer. That's me. Is there the two tier Kia? Well, what about unfair Claire? That's where the real problem in this country lies. What I like about these suction things is if you get it a bit wrong, you can just move them around to slide around. I'm not sure if these will hold up. These aren't just up for Christmas, you know that, don't you? What? We are very different, if you're watching this at totally home. Different. We are very different. It's probably why we get on so much. I know a lot of people say, do you ever argue? And we don't really. Because we just both know there's no point. Because neither of us can go upstairs in each other's bungalow. Um, we compliment. You've got a bungalow? <laughs> that I don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you had. What, a bungalow? We don't. Why, why do you wish? You, why? Why would I wish I had it? No, I, I'm having a. I'm having a break. Uh, why would? Why do you? Why would I wish I had a bungalow? So you go around there and um, you know have a chill out. You're right. We don't argue. Um, we're very lucky in that respect. And it's probably because both of us have got terrible failings, but we round each other out. Who's got terrible failings? Both me and you. You might have. What? Well, you have because you uh, <laughs> one of your biggest failings is that you don't think you do all wrong. It's just how it is, okay? That's what I do, all right? <laughs> That's but all honestly, we... back to what we were saying, if they fall down, just leave them. No. Just leave them hanging loose. <laughs> Swinging loose. If there were a film, that could, if there were a um, film yeah. about your life, it would be Hanging Loose. Yeah, would you? Yeah. That's like loose. a dodgy film, to be honest. And that's, and, and that's not to do with your pyjamas. <laughs> I could get that vase, like we said, and you can stick it down. What vase? Some sort of, like, glass vase, and you can put... Oh, a glass vase for a travelling vehicle. Like a that sounds like, like a good idea. One, then. then we can... Uh, where? For where? It's, and you can stand there and you can stick it down to the middle of that, like a little ornament. Right. That'd be nice, won't it? I don't know. You love ornaments. What a day. We're finished now, aren't we? Yeah, we're done. £170. It's always a, a bit of a shocker when you finish, you think, £170. But that did include a new doormat. Incl for the house. So it's £160. So, 160, so we're only £60 over a £100 budget, so not too bad. Anyhow, we got new bedding and everything else. We just wanted to spruce things up in here. Yeah. A change, really, more than anything. Mm. We've done a year in here. It's just like decorating. But everything's been all right. It's not been too bad to no. do, has it? No. And uh, we've got You've some... learnt some new skills? Yeah, I've been making curtains. I've done... <laughs> that is actually true. I've done a pink job. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. But you're so good at it. Yeah, so... Uh, I didn't want to dis you know, disturb you. I've enjoyed making curtains, actually. Anyway, we're going to give you a look round uh, and see what you think to it.
So what do you think then? I love it. I think we've made a bit of a difference, haven't we? Yeah. Just changed colours round. Doesn't look as uh, as vanilla. It's a bit, bit more homely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a bit more homely, yeah. Yeah, so I like the blue and the mustard. It's very good. These curtains need to drop. Sorry about that. It wasn't part of the service. <laughs> but that's it. I, I, I especially like this vinyl at the back. It just gives it a bit more depth instead of just a white wall. It's lovely. And we think we might put something here, don't we? Yeah, we can just get um, a picture in there. Oh, one thing, mm -hmm. we've got some new bedding. Shall we do the bedding? Yeah. One thing with the bedding mark is that you're on a key. It's a bit fiddly, that key. I prefer it not to have that key, but there you go. But Such it has is it. life, but it has it. We've got some blue pillows. So we've got a blue bed just to carry on with the theme. Okay. Just put some gold pillows on top to make it look really comfy. Can do. Oop. Oh. So, oh, that's wonky. Wait up. Oh, we've got a problem. Oh, I know why. Well, okay. Hey, look at that. Well, that's real. That's real life. Oh, what's happened? It's the, it's your table, uh, your chair. It's pushed too far back, so I need oh to raise gosh. this up. Has that happened before? No. Oh gosh, let me go push it forward. Start again. What would have happened if that had kept going? Well, that's why it's on seatbelts. Okay, so we couldn't have broken it then? I think so. Right, you try now. Do you want to come down? Yeah. Is yours in the way? Shall I just... Could be. Right, it's not now. You are rough, aren't you? This is in the way as well, isn't it? My things break around here. Try again. Okay. Put these pillows on. Make it look really cosy and welcoming. It looks like it's got stuck again. Where? In that top bit. Oh, I know what that is now. What? What's happening here? That's the backrest. Anyway, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. So you put the little golden things on? Mm. Did that just come out? <laughs> That's just come out. That's just come out. It's the harshest light in the world. It's like a lightsaber. Okay. So we've got, oh, I like this waffle. Oh, we'll just put that there but for a little bit of... Wow, he's put too many pillows on the bed. It takes forever to do that. Hey, do you get another pillow on the bed? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's get some pillows on and then we can take them all off. Then. So that's the bed. Now then, just while we're on with the bed, um, a lot of people has been looking at this style of van and saying, oh, yeah. you said that you didn't like the bed uh, in one of the, his last videos. But yeah. the reason why we said it, this bed is brilliant. As you can see, that's how quick it is yeah. to put down. So it's not that, that's not the problem. The problem is, is that in the morning, I can't have a cup of tea in bed because there's nowhere to rest. <laughs> there's nowhere for Andrew to put his tea. Is this like a sticky table you can buy? I don't like know. a sticky on hooky table that we could buy. But still, even at that, it's a little bit precarious. Now for me, some people have said the bed goes down lower than this, but we, don't, we can't seem to do that on our bed. I've no, not tried it. That it'll it'll go down as far as the the rails will take it, but this rail stay, it, that stops that side after a bit. Yeah, so it can't go as down as low as you thought. You don't need it that low anyway, because this is a four berth. Because you can convert this yeah. downstairs into that. That table obviously comes down. Yeah, but so it's that's not... the reason because Andrew can't have team bed. Yeah, but the bed itself is is perfect. Mm. It, it, the only thing I've got one thing just climbing up onto it. Really? Yeah. I'm getting old now, my knees are... Just put your foot there. I know, but it's hard. Yeah, anyway. So that's the reason. But as far as space saving goes, I mean, it's awesome. just... I mean, we can demonstrate, can't we, just how quick it is before yeah. we finish. So, uh, you know those pillows and um, cushions that you just put on? Do you want to take them off, please? Because <laughs> we're going to put it back up. One thing is, is that it's got a sensor on it, I think, and if you leave stuff on, it doesn't it like does it. It do that, yeah. I'm liking this blue. Makes a nice contrast instead of all the all the vanilla. And we've still got it nice and breezy. I don't think it looks too dark, do you? No. We might get a 
couple of throws for the captain seats. You can get them, um, them furry ones. I think we're going to get some furry ones, aren't we? Yeah, oh, look. It's nice. The only thing about those lights I don't like is I can see the wires. Don't look at the wires, just look at the lights. <laughs> right, so this is it. So in the morning, the, this is obviously the bit that you don't see because um, I have to style my hair, obviously. Uh, as you know, it takes quite some time. Uh, this is what we do. You put the key in and then you press the button. Oh, I've turned it off. So you put the key in, gives you a flash. Uh, so put your pajamas on and then up it goes. So this is literally how long it takes to change a Benimar 202 into a living area. Into day know. mode. This is day mode. Now, I'm pretty impressed at that actually. Very good, yeah. I think sometimes you forget just exactly what you've got, but that's that's great. And we're ready to go then, aren't we? Yeah. Do you know we put a stuff the roll away. Jack. And we're ready to start as day vlogging. So that is us done, Claire. That's from this episode. So it wasn't the planned episode, but we've done some good stuff here. So we were supposed to go to the seaside, but we haven't gone. But so we will be going. We need to go to the seaside. In the next video, we will be answering the cheekiest question that we get asked here on YouTube, <laughs> won't we? Uh, we did Don't know. Tell them. No, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> You'll have to wait and see what it is. Uh, but we get asked it quite a bit. We didn't mm. know whether we were going to answer it, but it seems to have quite a lot of interest. So we're going to do that. Incidentally, today, while we've been doing this, uh, YouTube comments have been absolutely brutal. They've been quite rude today. Yeah, some people just need to know how to behave. They've been calling us this, that and other, and we're just trying to make travel videos. If it was you that were leaving the rude comments today, just from me to you, don't do it, mate. That is all from us. We hope you have a great time until we see you next. Uh, Ciao. Man. Wow.